Well, here we are again at the Steam Toy Worldwide Weekend and it's again as usual I'm going to give you a quick tour of my Steam Toy collection. And I thought this year we'd start with the boats no particular reason. First of all there's the, uh, the pop-ups, there's the uh, Ratten Deep Titanic there, uh, there's the Hamburper Ratten Deep Thunder Cruise, the pop-up raft, a couple of Welby boats, a blue one in the middle, I don't know who made that. A couple more rat and deep ones there. There's a couple of proper boats, steam boats. It's the uh, Theron's Firefly Air. And Midwest Fantail. And on to the mobiles. There's uh, Mamad SW1 there, modified for radio control. There's my cup winning Brewer's Dray. The Wells traction engine, Mamad T1. And another cup winning engine, the Red Devil, winner of the last uh, Chantry Challenge. And then there's some rollers, some Amard SR1, David Old roller, and we let's go Old Smoky, and a couple of cars. It's a and trike there and my mod SA1. Now for some locos. It's a Hornby rocket there. And my Abling and Porter look alike. And down there we have a Bowman 234. Mamad Jubilee Edition SL6 and a Maxwell Hemmings Tripler and a couple more cars or a Sharabang in that case and an early dog cart style car and underneath the portrait of my great uncle Lolly there we have a selection of miniature steam engines, starting off with some Ben Peak engines. It's the uh, starting with the, uh, the tiny little Nano there, the Micro, the Minor, and then there's the Major. And then number one, number two, number three, and number four. And then back there is USE, unit steam engine, an SEL marine engine, Middleston. And a couple of microcosm engines. Uh, Willesco D3, sorry, D2. And finally, some Philcraft engines. There's a Jenny Wren there, Lilliput, it's the marine engine. And 
two versions of the beam engine one on its own without a boiler and inside a glass case and then there's the pride of the fleet if you like it's the, uh, the full version with the boiler on the base There's a couple of dodgy looking characters on the end there. On to the stationaries. On the top shelf there is uh, Velasco D16 and a big Bing there and the Suffolk Newcomen engine. And here we have Whedon 903. Latimer L4 Latimer L4 Sonoin 2B and Steamco SDC01 Next shelf down it's an ADE stationery there and a couple of Weller School engines. There's the uh, Court Lodge Mark One, Albury Manor Mark Four, and Weedon Fourteen, and Saxon Meister, which I haven't yet found model number four or even a date. And there's a Willesco D14. John Erickson and Lesco D10 Electric and then down there we have a Josef Falk Jensen 70 and a pair of Marv Industries horizontals one of which is sterno fired, the other is electric. And down there is my latest acquisition. Rather nice Stevens model dockyard. Model 2004, I think. That's not the date. And then next to that we have Gasilan DM2. and a GPM D1.5 and up on the wall shelves we have a couple of CK engines it's a V twin there and the number one and then there's the Opitec 420 I believe and there's a there's the Fleischmann 120 slash 1 and we let's go D5 and here we have a row of SELs it's minor, junior, standard and major and there's the uh, Kleinemeyer engine house and the Mamod SP4 in a custom livery and there's an Empire B31 there Index Electric it's Mersey 52 and well let's go 52 as it happens or D52 that uh, Trumpet shaped thing there. It's a car horn, incidentally. There's a few, there's a few verticals here. There's a Robert Fulton line. There's an Owen 68. Uh, Bernac Vulcan. 
Wilson little red engine that one I've no idea who made it quite possibly scratch built it's got there's another Bing there and the Lesco D3 there's power toy my only Canadian engine there's a T Haynes school engine there's a Kleinemeyer vertical engineer's engine and a genuine 1929 Meccano engine and down here on the end there is Tony Green and incorporating a USC engine and then there's a row of three USC engines and a couple of wells stationaries one with a cast frame one with a bent steel frame and then some Mamod marine engines ME1, ME2, ME3 and Meccano engines Mech1 and an SP3 and here we have some Bowmans, there's a Bowman M101 M122 there's a Luton Bowman PW201 and at the back there there's a Bowman M175 and sitting on the floor there so we'll just go D141 workshop that's the uh, the exception to my rule of no accessories because this is actually got the steam engine built in and here we have some mammoths it's an SC1 SC3 an SP5 and here we have a row of SE2s showing the development over the years and in with actually an SE2A there at the end this is the pre-war SE range SC1, SC2, SC3 and SC4 and now we have a shelf of Mamad minors and derivatives one at the end there is actually a, an F twin then we have Mamad minor 1 and 2 flat base 1 and 2 raised base and an SP 1 and 2 and here's some more of my modifications there's a couple of sectioned engines section let's go D16 there just the engine bit and sectioned and I'd SE3 and then there's my version of the SP3 what I think it should have been and then there's the three cylinder which I call the SE3C and then at the bottom here we have some Sildons Sildon 13-1 13-2 3-4 5 and there's Freddy keeping an eye on him well not actually he's fast asleep come on Freddy wake up Oi. wake up oh well I suppose he's had a long day <laughs>